Uh, good morning. It is a beautiful morning. It's around about 2 a.m. and I've driven further east and come to the magnificent Ice Lagoon and it really is spectacular. The Ice Lagoon is a location where the ice has fallen off the glacier uh, just to my left here and is slowly floating down towards the sea. I haven't had much experience in photographing uh, ice, icebergs or glaciers for that matter. Um, so I'm finding this a bit of a, a challenge, but that's good. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my time just exploring the edge of the lagoon here, uh, just trying to find an interesting composition. What I have in mind is, is something where uh, there's some ice in the foreground, uh, then we've got the broken um, icebergs in the midground, and then hopefully the mountains in the background providing a, a magnificent backdrop. That's what I'm going for. Um, whether I'll achieve that or not, I'm not too sure. We'll just have to wait and see. I've got some ducks to my left here that are just watching me vlog. It's a little unsettling. actually finding this quite uh, quite a challenge. Um, there's icebergs everywhere and uh, difficult to find an interesting composition or a simple composition. And I think that's that's the key is trying to keep it simple, trying to keep the composition simple. I've come along the bank and I've, I've come up a little bit. I'm around about two or three meters um, higher than the water and that's to get a little bit of elevation on this iceberg in front of me here to try and get some separation between that and the icebergs in the background. Unfortunately, there's no icebergs really close uh, in on the shore, trying to work with the conditions that, uh, that I've got here. The other thing that makes it difficult is that it's really cold. I'm finding that a little bit of a challenge, but uh, I've got my gloves, so that's all good. Also, the conditions are changing quite a bit. There's cloud, then suddenly the cloud disappears. Um, the wind picks up. Uh, and then suddenly it dies off and so I'm having to manage the ripples in the water and, and things like that. But for this particular shot here, I've got the, uh, the 70 to 200 to try and uh, get some reach on that iceberg um, just off the bank here. And on the front of that, uh, on the mount, I've got the polarizer to take the glare effectively off the water, nothing else. And then I've gone for a, uh, the little stopper as well. And the little stopper is taking the ripples out of the water to make sure that that water is nice and smooth. It's also capturing a little bit of movement in the cloud just above the mountain in the background. Uh, so with that set up, I'm on ISO 100, F8 for the sharpest possible image. And that gives me a shutter speed of eight seconds, which is long enough to smoothen out those ripples in the water. So I'm happy with this composition. I'm gonna grab the remote and take the shot. I've just come right up the bank now. Um, I'm about uh, 15, 20 metres above the water. And I've just finished taking a panoramic view of the entire lagoon with all the icebergs 
It's a very special location this, just, just beautiful. Something I've never experienced before. Ah, oh, look, I may never again. So beautiful, very peaceful. pack my gear up and I'm going to head over to the beach to see whether I can find something interesting over there to capture. Let's go. So I've come around to the beach. This is where the icebergs that have travelled down the river out to the sea are then washed back onto the beach by the waves. Uh, and I must admit this looks quite challenging. There's icebergs all around me and trying to find a good composition has been proven to be quite difficult. The sun's come up also as you can see and I think the tide is coming in so I've got the elements against me. But it's still wonderful to be here. I'll spend a little bit more time just having a bit of a wander around and who knows, might be able to find a composition that I'm happy with and capture an image. In amongst all this chaos, I think I've found uh, what is a reasonably decent uh, shot. I've got three icebergs. Uh, one's right up on the sand, it's nice and clear, just being hit by the water at the moment. And then I've got two others off in the distance out in the water. Hopefully, if they don't move around too much, that'll make a, a nice composition. The rest of the setup is pretty similar to most seascapes. I've got the 24 to 70 on, I've got the polarizer on the front comes a large wave. I've got the polarizer on the front. I've got the 0.6 hard graduated filter. That's because the height the horizon is nice and flat for me. So I went the hard uh, graduated filter. I'm trying to slow down the shutter so I've, at the moment I've got 0.3 of a second and to accomplish that I'm at uh, f20, which is probably not ideal, but given these conditions, um, that's really all I can hope for. I might have a go later on with the a little stopper, the 0.6 stopper, just to slow everything down. Anyway, I'll take this shot and uh, see what it looks like. enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of content and you'd like to see more then please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload my next video but until next time from the 
icy beaches of Iceland. Thanks very much for watching.